Hello artists. Today we're going to be taking our Georgia O'Keeffe inspired flowers and transferring them to our muslin fabric for our batik pillow project. What you're gonna be doing is leaving your paper face up just like that. You're gonna put your muslin cloth right over top of it and try to center the paper underneath. The fabric is nice and see-through and so you can see where your paper is below. What you're gonna do now is flip the entire thing over so that now you're looking at the back side of your paper and you're gonna be using masking tape today to tape the paper to the cloth. I would like you to tape all four of the corners. Just like that on a corner, almost like an L shape and do that to all four. When you're finished taping all four corners, you can flip it back over, and now you can clearly see the image through the fabric. Next, we're gonna be using our fabric oil sticks. These can get on your clothing, so I would like you to make sure that you pull up your sleeves if you have long sleeves on today. And you can use any of the colors that you would like, except for black, gray, what you're gonna do next is choose two colors to start on just your petals. We're not worried about the pollen part yet, but we are worried about getting these large petals done first. I'm gonna choose yellow for my color, and so I need a dark and I also need a light. So whatever color you choose, you need a shadow and you need a highlight. To use the fabric oils, we don't wanna trace right on top of the marker line. We want to trace beside the marker line. So when you're tracing, you should still see your marker line showing through your fabric. Don't go on top of it, go beside it. When you use the fabric oils too, you wanna to be sure to press down. Not so hard that you're breaking the oils, um, but you don't, also don't want it to look crayony or light like that. That is much too light. If you need to peel the oils at any time, you may do that. Just throw that in your table trash can. Now, the reason we're pressing so hard is because that dye color is so dark that we wanna make sure we can see our pastels just fine. So I've traced around my marker line on everything. I'm gonna to continue to do that for all of the petals. So again, go beside the marker line. In between any two petals, you should see a strip where you did not put any color at all. You're gonna to continue to trace with your dark color for every single petal. And this is what it looks like when you're finished tracing with your dark shadow color. On areas where your petals run off of the paper, so you can see my paper through there, you're just gonna end your lines there. Don't trace across, just let your lines end right where the edge of the paper goes. If you need to keep a napkin nearby to kind of wipe the oils off of your fingers, you may do that as well. All right, now you're gonna take that same shadow color, and this time, instead of pushing hard and trying to trace it, you're gonna kind of drag the fabric oil from the line to the middle of the petal. Just kind of little movements of your wrist. Feels like we're kind of doing a hatching motion trying to avoid that marker line still. Bringing the line in and just kind of making it a little bit thicker, doing a little bit of shading with this process. And if you need to turn your project as often as you need to, that's absolutely fine. Just bringing in a nice thick line around all of the outline that we've already created. In little tight areas like that, you can just fill it in. If you'd like to keep a napkin on your project so that you can hold it in place without getting those oils on you or smearing it on accident, you can do that as well. You gotta keep your hand kind of close to where you're working so the fabric doesn't stretch continuously. 
And that's what it looks like after you take the shadow color and continue to make kind of a thicker line around all of your petals, doing a little bit of shading is what we're doing, making it nice and thick so that when we do our highlight color, it's just going here in the center of each petal. Okay, I'm gonna put the shadow color back and now I'm gonna pick my lighter highlight color. What we're gonna be doing with this is just filling in in between. And you do wanna overlap what you've already done just a little bit so the two colors will kind of mix together. You can hear I'm pressing hard. Again, not so hard that you're breaking the fabric pastels, but you really wanna put a nice thick coat of these down so that when we dye them in the fabric dye, you can still really see the colors show through. Nice and dark, blending the two colors together and filling in the flower petal. You can use another napkin to hold your fabric down because it's gonna wanna move on you while you're working and it's gonna wanna make wrinkles. The closer you hold it to where you're working, the easier it's going to work for you. Again, where the edge of the paper is too, just end your drawing right there. I'm getting to the point where I'm just about out of fabric oil. I want you to try to use just as much of it as you possibly can, but when you get to the point where you just, you can't color with it anymore, just throw that little piece away and you can grab another stick and start to use it. And that's what it looks like after you're finished using the highlight color to fill in the rest of your petals. You're gonna get pretty messy with this project and so before we change into co another color, if the dry paper towel won't get you clean enough, I'd say that's clean enough, but if it won't, you can use a pump of soap and wash your hands before you move on to the inside right here which is called the pollen part. For your pollen, you may choose another two colors. So my two colors that I'm gonna choose for this is a lime green for my shadow, and I'm gonna choose white for the highlight. This is gonna be very intricate work because there's a lot of marker in there and there's only just a few dotted areas showing up. Again, if you need to keep a paper towel to rest your hand on or to hold, you can do that. And I'm just gonna simply trace on the inside of the marker, trying not to color over where the markers are. And all of our flowers are different. Mine just happens to look like that. That's all I'm gonna use the lime green for. And then the white's gonna be hard to see when you use it at first because you're working on almost a white fabric. But when we dye these in the blue dye, um, you're gonna be able to really see the white pop out quite a bit. So I'm gonna take my white and just finish filling in the pollen parts because this is my highlight color. And that's what it looks like when I'm all finished using the fabric oils. Be sure to put all of your colors back in your sets. Any dirty napkins that you use to wipe your fingers can go in the trash can. Before we store these in the table folders, we need to protect that oil from getting on anybody else's project. So you're simply gonna open up and lay four dry napkins on top of your project before putting it in the table folder. And then the next artist can put their work on top with paper towel and so forth until all of the projects are in the table folders. Good job today, artists.